This morning is about inspiration. And inspiration, we all know the definition of inspiration. But to me, what it feels like is when you are watching something, witnessing something, a person, a project, an experience, and it actually physically lifts your body. You're like, this is making me feel something that I want to, A, celebrate, acknowledge, and B, it makes me want to be better when I leave this space and go do something else. That's what inspiration feels like. So five years ago, IDA created the Inspired Leader Awards. And these are awards that recognize individuals in our industry who are inspiring us. They're inspiring us with the work that they're doing. And they're not just maintaining their districts, which we all know that's hard enough, right? Um, but they're challenging the norms and they're bringing new things to the table. So this morning I have the privilege of recognizing two of these inspired leaders. First is a man who we might have all gotten to know if we went to Memphis this year for the conference. It was a great conference and he did an excellent job with his team of making that a wonderful experience. He has really taken the charge on fighting blight. He created a toolkit for business growth to do adaptive reuse with blighted buildings. He cares deeply about equity and he works hard to incentivize women and minority participation in bid programs. And he really does eat, sleep, and breathe placemaking. So please welcome to the stage the COO of the Downtown Memphis Commission, Brett Roller. Thanks, Mom. I think... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I see some uh, familiar faces out there today, and I think I'm just as surprised as you guys are, so that, that's okay. Um, but all kidding aside, I'm just so humbled and, and I'm so honored to be recognized in a room full of people that, that, that I love, frankly, that I look up to, that I've learned from for all these years. Um, I really appreciate this, but we all know that this is a team sport. Nobody does much alone. Um, I have the privilege of working with the best team, I think, in the country. Uh, six of them are here, plus myself, so we wouldn't do much with, without them. So I want to say thank you, Memphians. There they are, Memphians. If you run into one of them, um, they're a little bit wild, but if you run into one of them, um, do yourself a favor, get to know them, give them a business card, exchange info with them. Um, they're tremendous people, great assets to you, and you'd be lucky to, to know them like I do. Um, I don't have anything profound to say, that won't surprise those of you who know me, but um, I wanted to share something that came to mind this morning. Um, one of my, 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 my friends, the late Jeff Sanford, some of you may know Jeff, he was the IDA board chair, he was the Center City Commission Memphis president for a long time. He passed away earlier this year. But when I was first interested in coming to IDA about, about 14 years ago, I talked to Jeff, and he told me that the master sessions are good, that the, the, the tours are good, but the real value of this organization it's the people in this room. It's learning from colleagues across the country who do the work that you do. And, and I found that to be true, that without the people in this room supporting me and supporting our team, we wouldn't have accomplished what we have in the past. So in closing, I just wanna say, I wanna speak to my fellow introverts. There's some of us out there. Um, do yourself a favor, get to know people you don't know. If, if you're at a, at a lunch or you're in a session, sit down with people you don't know, meet them, shake their hand, and I think you'll find that to be the most valuable part of, of IDA. And this industry is unique, it's special, we support each other, we collaborate, um, and thank you again for this tremendous honor. <laughs> 